Hey what's up guys and girls welcome back to my new SFM video on this channel so I'm finally starting a SFML series in 2020 because there are no updated 2020 series uh, for SFML uh, yeah there are no SFM tutorials on YouTube so I think that okay I will start a new SFM tutorial for you beginners for the beginners who want to who want to get into game development with C++ and SFML and SFML is probably one of the uh, best and the easiest uh, one to get started at it with because it gives you all the functionalities for even network networks and audio and graphics and all the things that you need for developing a fully flexible game. So enough of me talking, let's get into downloading and setting up SFML on our computer. So uh, I'll uh, give this link down in the description to download the SFML library. and. Uh, I'm going to be using a Visual Studio, so if you guys are if you guys are are also using Visual Studio, you want to download this 32-bit ver version. Now, even if your uh, uh, computer is 64-bit, you want to download the 32-bit because this bit right here is actually the platform for which you are developing. So you are developing for so you you want to develop for 32-bit because 32-bit application do run on 64-bit, but 64-bit application do not run on 32-bit. So you want to download the 32-bit application, uh, the 32-bit version. So you're going to click on this download button right next to it, and it shouldn't take a while. I'm downloading it for the third time. Yeah, it has already finished downloading. I don't know why it just like it takes like stops after downloads. It's a common issue that I've been having for God knows how much long time. Okay, so uh, once you guys have finally downloaded SFML, uh, you, you can see the GIF file right here. Uh, you want to extract SFML in your desktop. So just let it uh, do its work. And uh, place because I've already downloaded it, so it's, 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 uh, it's, it's telling me to replace it. Okay, so once you have uh, got this SFML uh, file here, you just uh, put put it on your desktop. You don't you don't need to put it anywhere else. All right, so next thing is we wanna start with Visual Studio, obviously. Uh, just going to remove this from the list. Okay, so you wanna create a new project, uh, empty project, of course. Uh, uh, you can place it anywhere you want, so I'm placing it on my desktop. I have a separate folder called C++ Projects. Select folder, and I'm going to name it YouTube with capital T, because why not? Create. Bam. Uh, you can go to source files, add. Just some general C++ things you, you, you guys should know. Add a main.cpp. Just type in some basic C++ code. Include IO stream. In main. Alright. So you want to run your application first. So that we're going to get the debug folder in our uh, solution directory. There you go. It runs. C++ is in our computer. That's nice. Alright, so let's get into linking SFML. So uh, what I would like to do is I'm just going to cut this SFML thing. I'm going to put it on the directory what I have. So uh, right here. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right here. You, you don't have to do that. But I'm just going to create a folder. External. But I'm just going to call it. Uh, I'm just calling it externals. I will call this external so I'm going to put this SFML thing inside the externals folder. You don't have to do it of course it was obviously pretty fine if it was right here but I just like to do this so that uh, it keeps the things organized and stuff. Okay so uh, let's get into linking SFML. So you want to uh, right click on your uh, your this uh, project go to properties. Here make sure that your configuration is on a real uh, all, all configuration because I think uh, yeah um, a default is I believe active debug you want to be on all configuration this is where most people forget and they get a lot of errors uh, before uh, after you do all this so make sure you're in all, all configuration that's very important because once you're here in all configuration you want to go to C C++ general additional include directories you're going to click this drop down menu edit and this little file icon 
you want to browse your file where you have the SFML. So uh, I have mine in desktop, zip project, externals, SFML. And we'll click in this include folder because remember we're going for the additional include directories. So click the include, select folder, click OK, click apply. Awesome. Now you want to go to linka, general, additional library directories. Click this drop down menu again and you can just repeat the process. But this time uh, you want to select the lib folder because you know linkar uh, works on lib so you're gonna go to the lib folder select folder okay apply awesome bam okay uh, that's actually basically all you have to do for all configuration now uh, hopefully you see you will be able to include the sfml folder yeah see sfml and you can just uh, get all the gra header files that we need for our SFML development. So let's get graphics.hpp. Awesome. Now you wanna again go to your project properties and here you wanna go to now this time you're gonna go to configuration pretty down to debug. So in debug you wanna go to linker again input additional dependencies to drop down edit now here you want to type some stuff. I will leave this stuff in the description so you so you guys can just uh, copy paste it. Uh, so it's gonna be really easy. So the, basically, so what you want to type is sfml dash system dash d dot lib. You need the dash d. You need the d because we're on debug. Okay, you need the d. Next sfml graphics dash d dot lib. Sfml uh, audio dash d dot lib. Next is going to be sfml dash window dash d dot lib, and next is going to be sfml dash network dash d dot lib. Okay, I'll leave this thing in the description so you guys don't have to type it out with me. System graphics audio window network. I think that's basically that way. Yeah, make make sure you put it on this order. You don't want to intermix the order because uh, yeah, just just don't intermix the order. That's basically what I'm gonna tell. Uh, yeah, so let me just copy this because we need it again somewhere else. Nice, click apply. Now, again, in the configuration, put it under release this time. And again, in the linker input, additional dependencies, drop down, edit. You're gonna paste it right here. This, but this time, you're gonna get rid of dash D because we're, we are in release, remember. Awesome. Okay, apply, okay nice so that's basically we have linked all the libraries and all the linker stuff in sfml hopefully we should uh the, our program should run so i'm just going to get some sample code I'll, I'll leave this link also in the description you want to go down you will be here here you want to go down uh to uh this code we have sample code and copy it paste it here uh see all the syntax highlighting and stuff works properly Hopefully, if you run it, uh, we get a window, no, and okay, we get an error. Don't freak out; it's actually normal. I, I was pretty aware of this what's going to happen. So basically, uh, what we need to do this is going to be the last process, guys. Don't worry. I promise this is the last process. So you go to your uh, what do you have downloaded the SFM, the externals SFML. You want to go to the bin folder. You can see all these dynamically linked libraries. Dot DLL. DLL stands for dynamically linked libraries. Gonna copy all of this copy go into your uh, Visual Studio project debug and where do you have your the dot exe file for your application you want to paste it right here you can place all the dynamic link libraries DLLs in short right here and once you've done that uh, we have steam here bam we should get you should get the window with a big little circle uh, depending on the window Awesome, SFM on the works. Uh, yeah, we, we don't need this actually. Let's get our window. Let's okay, yeah, SFM on works. Yay! Okay, there, that was easy, right? Oh, well, yeah, that's actually really easy. Uh, that's how you link SFM out. Um, stay tuned for the first episode in the series. We're going to be finally starting to make games and it's a cool game, so this is, this is going to be mainly aimed at beginners who are just starting to learn C++ in these uh, COVID-19 times. 
I know I should have done it like uh, two or three months ago, but whatever, better late than never, they say. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh, this is my Steam profile. You, you guys can add me on Steam. My name is uh, Sai uh, Vector 5 You can add me on Steam. I mostly play uh, Global Offensive and sometimes 1.6, and sometimes I play uh, Just Cause 2. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for the first video on this uh, series, which will hopefully come tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Peace. Bye. Stay safe.